When did a dog on a general union that's been given in our society and, and in many different situations, there's such a thing that Amri Inchi people say everybody does. We all know, we all grew up and we know already to laugh at such a thing. But deep down, we still feel everybody does it, you do it. Rachmona Litzlan Hashem should save us, because I can't help from saying this. There's such a thing as Pritzus Haredis. You go in our streets, in our holy streets of Eretz Yisrael, of from Haredi neighborhoods. And uh, sometimes you, you pick your head up outside of your Daladams, which we really shouldn't do. But, uh, and you see young girls going with short dresses. Rachmona Litzlan Abizraya de Gilea Reyes. Who could imagine how many shady men, Bruchus Rose, armies of evil forces are surrounding them and walking with them? Yeah, yeah, that's how it is. I'm not a mystic, but that's how it is. And it all comes from everybody does it, everybody does it. Pitam one day, somebody decides you're supposed to wear shorts, everybody does it. And, and, there was many years ago, 3,000, 2,000 years ago, there was a story like that that we have to learn from. And this Rabbi Yal talks about in the Sefer of Ayal, Moshe, my Marshal is Shavuos, Os Kufnum Dalet. There was the story of Sancherev that he came and he surrounded Yerushalayim and he was about to conquer it. And he had with him millions and millions of soldiers. I'm not saying millions the way people talk millions. He actually had millions. There's 185,000 soldiers, it says in Posig, but the Gemara says they were generals. Who knows how many they had? They had thousands under them, each one of them. That means millions of armies. And they came surrounded Yerushalayim, about to conquer Yerushalayim. And they said, come out and make peace with us. San Herb said. San Herb, Rav Shoke, his, uh, his general, Yisrael Mumar, the Gemara says, and he came and he talked, and he talked, Belosh Kodesh, he talked. And the people over there said to him, the Yidin, the Choshev Yidin said to him, don't talk Lashen Kodesh, talk Aramaic. We don't want the people to hear what you're saying. And he said, Dafka, I want the people to hear. And he kept talking Lashen Kodesh. And he was Mecharif and Megadif. He, how do you say that? He uh, blast, blasphemed. He was a uh, clapping Malam. And... And, and he wanted that they should come out and make peace with him. And he said, uh, I'll take you to a land that's like your land, and we'll, you'll live, you'll go, let's go to Chutzlerz. I'll take you all to Chutzlerz. We have a land that's just as good as yours, and we'll live there, and uh, everything will be all right. Says the Gemara that there was a person, and his name was Shevna, that he wanted to make peace. He was the Peace Now movement of, of the time. Mahav, the chef was a tzaddik, no? Uh, he, uh, 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 yeah, uh, Heskiel uh, picked him as... Uh, oh, no, we we'll soon get that. Uh, uh, okay. But you see, you see in then what he was. Uh, so, he wanted to make peace. And even he sent out a letter he shot the letter with an arrow, he put the letter and stuck it to an arrow and he shot it out to the to the camp of San Cherub and he said, Shevna Vishyato Ishlimu, Chizkiya Vishyato Lo Ishlimu. Shevna and his group are ready to make peace with you. It's only them, Chizkiya and his group, they're not, they didn't make peace. They don't want to make peace. But we're willing, we're willing to come out and be nichna to you. So Chizkiya got scared when this happened. And he said, Dilma, Chas Vishon, Natye, Daite, De Kutche, Brichu, Vosa, Rubin. They're more than me. They have the Gemara says that Shevna used to Darshan. When he gave a shear, 
He had 13 meturgamons. A meturgamon in those days, that was like the microphone, the one that says it over to the people. Just imagine 13 people standing there and saying it. That means there were thousands and thousands of people sitting there listening that you needed 13 meturgamons. Chitzki only had 11. That means that Shevna had much, much more people than Chitzki had. So maybe Hashem is going to lean, not ye daite, his das will lean after the rove. Uh, so, so maybe we're wrong, maybe we should just give up, what can we do? Oh, that's this week's parsha. So right, love and mahatos. On that the Pasuk says, Lo siach re rabim le roos. You shouldn't go after the rabim for rabim. But chizkiya thought. Oh, but 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 Chizkiya he didn't know that. The question is that Chizkiya didn't know that puzzle. We'll soon get to it. So Hashem said through the Navi, the Navi Yeshaya said, "Lo Samran Kesher Chosha Yom Ramos Kosher." Don't say that Shevna has a Kesher. He has a group. He has a party. Don't be afraid of his party. Because Kesher is Shoim Eino Minyan. That doesn't count as a party, as a group. So, okay, and then it was that he had a Mapolo Shevna, he was about to go out. And he opened the gates of Yerushalayim and he started going out with his group. And the Malach came and as soon as he went out leading his group, the Malach closed the gates. And the rest of the group stayed outside, they couldn't get out. And the Sancher Vesta Mashri Sachecha, where's your group? Where's your entourage? So he said, he uh, didn't know what he couldn't answer. And they took him and they killed him with a Misa Mishune. <laughs> and and that was his end. And by the way, the Chazal say that he was. Uh, it wasn't so clean. Also, Baal Hanoi, what they call it nowadays, it has a certain name. So, but, but, but yeah, it's hard, hard to understand. But what did Chizkiya think? He didn't learn the Pasuk in today's parsha. Lo siyach re rabim le rose. If, if Shevna was a Rosh, he was a bad person and he had a, so, so you don't go after such a rabbin. What will be the din if you have a group of, 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 of people, learned people, modern orthodox rabbis, and they have an agenda, they have to say, they can't say, they can't say uh, certain things that, that uh, I once saw a book of a woman they would cover that uh, the picture of her on the, on the back of the book was with her hair covered, not not with her shadow. And she had us comments from uh, a Rabbi. She had. she wrote a book. It's called Off the Derech, maybe the book. Ah, Margolis. Margolis uh, her name was. Uh, and she wrote in chapter 19 of that book. She wrote something to the effect of uh, you can't be so harsh on your children. And then they're going to break away. So you can't say you're not allowed to go out with girls and not allowed to mix boys and girls. You can't be so harsh because then they're going to break out. What does that mean? What's she saying? She's saying, for the sake of Chinuch, will be Mate Abizrael de Gilead Arais, that's Yerg Val Yavor, Afro le Pumo. And she has a coming from rabbis, so called. So you can you can count that as a rove. So they have an agenda. What's the agenda? To be modern. You're supposed to be modern. What does modern mean? What's the definition of modern? That the Torah is MS, Moshe is Torah MS, and the world is also MS. See, Korach, he was Jesus in the beginning. He, he argued against Novus Moshe, but then he was forced to be Moda Moshe MS. So what did they do? Modern Orthodox comes and says, Yeah, we're not going to be like Karach. Avadim, Moshe, Mishmet, But who said the world is not a world? 
What does it mean to the world? Gilea Reyes, being matish, meet, being laughing at Gedalei Torah. Bechulu, bechulu. That, that you're going to count as a rove. Those kind of people that they come against people that they, and on, on the other side, you have people that they know. And this is the only thing that there is. And the whole of has is sheker. And everything is temporary. And it's not going to have a kiyom. It's not going to stay. Yet, they don't tell their Talmudim that ah, you're not allowed to go to work. But they make, they teach their Talmudim that the whole of has is a tofel shebet failing. It's all shtuyot, art and music and, 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 and everything else from all of has it. It's all kesef katan, like they say in Hebrew. Small change, maybe it is. <laughs> okay, so you have to make a half sick in the middle. But, 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 but the only thing that there is ain't one who she raka teras us. See, so, so you, you're going you're gonna to go start counting rove and mute. Who are they, Bechla? Anybody that, that says that the they Olam has, has a mockum. So, so it's ain't no min minion. So Chizkiya thought we're going to count Shev. <laughs> it could be, that, it could be now that I'm saying it. I'm starting to think maybe that's what he was. Maybe, because you see the Gemara says, Baal Hanoi, the Gemara Balanoi, that means let's enjoy ourselves. Le'olamaz also. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you're not allowed to enjoy yourself. But you have to have to write a scuff how to look at it, the attitude that you have toward it. And you can see that, that these people, whenever you say something that, that sounds too frum, in these kind of inyonim, it, it starts cooking in them. You have to, you have to go against the, 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 the those that go with the Masara, those that go between us, the Bipshitas, the way we were Mekabo Me'avoseinu. Anyway, so what did Chizkiah think that that they're, that they're gonna, they can count, and you can count them as a rove against the Tzadikim of Chizkiah Melech, because the Kodesh Baruch says Chizkiah Moshiach. The Gemara says, so you're gonna count them. You see from here, says Rabbi Yehuda. That they weren't such small people, the Shevna Vesiat of this whole group. They were tzaddikim even. They, they weren't modern Orthodox. If they were modern Orthodox, the Chazal would talk about them. Would be mitiaches to them, Bechla. They were, they were tzaddikim. Only what? He says the Marsha, bring, he brings the Marsha, he says like this. It says, Kesher is shayim, eno minamim. It's a strange lush, and that we're used to it. We heard it a lot, these words. But but you think about it, just, it's interesting that Rabbeinu Yoel, he was mefalpul, pulim atzumim, sharp things, chaps. Yet, on the other hand, you see many times he's medaik the words. Let's just translate the words, push it, push it, what do they mean? And, and, and he builds on that. He's able to go down to the pastor. Kesha Rishon, the Rishon, they're together. Ain't no mean ha minion. It's not from the numbers. What does that mean? It should have said Kesha Rishon. Ain't no Choshev, ain't no Nechshev, ain't no Deya. But what's ain't no mean? So the Masha says like this Kesha Rishon, ain't no, he's not from their number. He, the Hashem, doesn't rest on them. He's not in their group. Who can you count as a, as a rove or a mute? When you're counting rove and mute, you want to know how to pass in those that Hashem rests among them. But when it's Rishonim, they're not mina minya. That means Hashem is not joining in their minya. That's what it means. And that's a pshat. Kolshken v'kal v'chomer, modern orthodox. That the pshat Olam Haza has a mokum. What does Olam Haza mean? The place that Hashem created a hester of himself. The, what's in, in, in some form, in the deeper Kabbalah form, it's called Cholol Aponu. That's Kavshi Drachmanu. I don't know if we, we even uh, are allowed to even think about it, but it was in there. Uh, in 20 seconds, we'll, fi stuff. 20 seconds, we'll finish the first part. And that's all the matter. And if that has a, and that has a mokum. So, okay, so I'd rather Kaplan move finishing part one. Thank you.